this video we will learn how to calculate producer surplus and consumer surplus from an example the question is like this given demand function is given as pd is equal to 27 minus q square p is the price q is the quantity and supply function is ps that is uh, quantity supplied is equal to 2q plus 3 assuming perfect competition find producer surplus and consumer surplus so we need to find out the producer surplus and consumer surplus okay so what we are being given we are being given the demand function is pd uh, is equal to 27 minus q square this is our demand function and our supply function is uh, ps is equal to 2q plus 3 okay first we will calculate consumer surplus okay so uh, at equilibrium we know at equilibrium our demand is equal to supply okay if demand is equal to supply this is our demand function this is our supply function let us write it as demand function this is our supply function so we will equate these two functions this will give us 27 minus q square should be equal to this 2q plus 3 okay so let us solve this for q if i transpose this q square it becomes positive q square then we have plus uh, 2q then uh, 3 minus 27 comes out to be minus 24 which is equal to 0 so what we mean by uh, demand is equal to supply if i can grab this out also here so let's grab this also we have quantity on this axis price on this axis okay our demand function is 27 minus q square so this will not be a linear demand one okay so let's uh, assume it is like this so it will be like this uh, it will be like this and we have a supply that is 2q plus 3 and we have the intercept as 3 so our supply curve will look like this this is our demand function why this is a uh, curved because we have square here this is a quadratic type and this is our uh, supply function here now where demand and uh, supply functions intersect with each other uh, we get the equilibrium price actually uh, in this in this question uh, if i write it like this so let me draw it like this this is our supply function uh, sorry demand function this will this is our supply function here we can see we have two intersection pointers so let us solve this uh, thing out so if we uh, factor this out we can write it like this uh, q square uh, plus 6q minus 4q uh, minus 6 into 4 is equal to 0 splitting middle term okay how do we split middle term uh, we need to find our two numbers in such a way that their uh, sum should be equal to 2 that is our middle term and the same numbers when multiplied should be equal to minus 24 okay so here we have 2 so if i write here 6 and minus 4 6 minus 4 is 2 and 6 into minus 4 is minus 24 okay i will just uh, use it that very stuff i hope you know this uh, equally so factoring this out we will get uh, q here is common we get q plus 6 here we have minus 4 and we can write it q plus 6 is equal to 0 that means we have q plus 6 if i take it out and we have q minus 4 is equal to 0 that means q plus 6 is equal to 0 which gives us uh, q is equal to minus 6 if i transpose this or we get another value that is q minus 4 is equal to 0 when transposing we get q is equal to transposing it here we have 6 here okay so minus 4 becomes plus 4 so we got two values for quantity okay so demand and supply function is interact at two pointers when q is equal to 4 that means this point when q is equal to 4 and here if i can draw it like this okay i am just trying to show the meaning of why do we got two values because 
demand and supply function is intersect at two points and this point denotes our q is equal to let me write it here for okay here uh, so here they intersect at minus six okay you know if this is our line uh, to the left we have negative numbers to the right we have positive numbers and here we can see they intersect exactly when q is equal to six and obviously we know that we cannot uh, use the negative values for quantity so this stuff is invalid for us okay so we don't need uh, to bother about the negative value of quantity because quantity cannot be negative so i was just trying to show you how do we got two values and where those two values lie this is our demand function this is a curved one because we don't have a linear uh, demand curve here and obviously uh, we have a supply function which is linear one okay and we got two values for q that is negative six and four and negative six quantity cannot be negative so we discard this outrightly okay so let's uh, rub this because this is not uh, our choice variable to be here okay so let us stick uh, to this graph now okay so we got equilibrium quantity as four okay now what will be the equilibrium price then just plug q is equal to four either in demand function or supply function let's put it in supply function that means our p will be equal to two the value of q is four plus three so we have two fours are eight now in that car we got p is equal to 11 so equilibrium price and quantity we got now what is meant by consumer surplus consumer surplus is simply the difference oh let uh, let, uh, let me uh, write it here we have 11 as the equilibrium price now the consumer surplus is simply the difference between the price consumer pays uh uh, for a good and a price he or she is uh, willing to pay for it okay the difference between these two prices gives us the consumer surplus okay let me repeat the difference between the price consumer pays for a good and the price he or she is willing to pay for it okay so this difference the difference between these two prices gives us the consumer surplus and graphically it is simply the area which lies below the demand curve and above the equilibrium price okay so that means this very part is our consumers surplus okay so how do we calculate consumer surplus consumer surplus is simply equal to consumer surplus is equal to simply the definite integral from zero to equilibrium quantity uh, let me write it here q and taking uh, the integral of demand function that is 27 minus q square okay with respect to q okay to this uh, to this we subtract uh, the total expenditure that is p into q okay actually what does this mean it simply means we need to we need to first calculate this very area this triangle and this square okay this is denoted by this uh, definite uh, definite integral and we then subtract this very expenditure of the consumer okay so to get the value of this triangle we first calculate the area of this whole trapezium and then subtract this very rectangle to get this very triangle i hope i am making myself clear so let's try to solve this out so we have zero and equilibrium quantity was four and then we have uh, 27 minus q square dq uh, okay minus p into q price and quantity we have here p is 11 this is four here okay so let's take the integral here so we can write it like this derivative of 27 will sorry the integral of 27 will be 27 q minus uh, integral of uh, q square will be q q upon three and evaluating it from zero to four minus the total expenditure okay 
uh, p into q actually denotes the total expenditure so we have 44 here okay now just we need to evaluate uh, these very terms first at upper limit that is 4 and then subtract from lower limit we need not to uh, evaluate at the lower limit because it will become zero so let's evaluate this stuff at upper limit so we have 27 into the value of q is 4 here minus q cube minus 4 cube upon 3 okay and then we have minus 27 into q is 0 and 0 cube is 0 cube upon 3 is 0 so we don't evaluate at lower limit okay then 44 okay so this may come out to be 4 7 are 28 4 2 are 8 now to the, that is 108 minus 4 4 are 16 4 are 64 upon 3 uh, minus 44 when we calculate it comes out to be 42.67 okay the area of this triangle is our uh, consumer surplus which comes out to be 42.67 okay now how do we calculate producer surplus producer surplus is simply the difference between the market price and the price uh, a producer is willing to accept to produce a good okay the difference between these two prices okay these two prices here here and this whole triangle uh, denotes our producer surplus and graphically a uh, producer surplus is simply let me write it why do i write a producer surplus is simply equal to total revenue that the producers get minus the total cost okay and what is the total revenue so producer surplus is equal to total revenue minus price into quantity minus the total cost for this producer will be uh, actually this whole what i can say actually this denotes this very uh, this very figure denotes the cost okay and this is the total revenue this is the total cost and producer surplus will be uh, the area which lies below the equilibrium price and above the supply curve okay let us color this out also this is our producer surplus and it is simply equal to total revenue this is price into quantity price into quantity minus total cost the area of this triangle okay and how do we calculate the area of this triangle simply we take the integral from zero to equilibrium quantity and take uh, the integral of the supply function since this is our supply function we write 2q plus 3 dq okay so price into quantity we have p is 11 into quantity is 4 minus 0 uh, equilibrium output is 4 and we have 2q plus 3 dq okay let's try to solve this i learned 4 is 44 so we will get 44 minus so uh, uh, we have this stuff here we have two uh, integral of q is q square upon two okay i uh, hope you know this very well i have explained this whole stuff in the rules of integration in the playlist you can check their uh, integration in economics i have explained this stuff uh, clearly okay uh, plus the derivative of three will be three q and evaluated from zero to four so we have 44 minus this gets cancelled first we evaluated upper limit so we have q square that means 4 square plus we have 3 into 4 and then we subtract and evaluate it at lower limit so we have uh, 0 square 0 square okay so 0 square plus 3 into 0 so this will become 0 this whole stuff here and this very stuff so we got 44 minus we have 4 4 are 16 uh, 3 4 are 12 so minus into plus is minus so so we have 44 minus 28 i am not able to um, 
rather i am not sure whether i have done the calculation right or wrong but uh, the point is uh, i should make myself clear so you can always forgive this um, these very uh, mistakes so so we got here six uh three x i guess we got the producer surplus is 16 so producer surplus will be 16 okay so i have actually written here okay so simple stuff we were given the demand function and supply function we have been given that there is perfect com uh, competition we were told to find the producer surplus and consumer surplus okay so i first uh, calculated the consumer surplus it is up to you whether you calculate producer surplus or consumer surplus okay so this is our demand function this is supply function uh, at equilibrium demand and supply functions will interact with each other since we have a quadratic function here our demand function will not be linear so our demand function would have been like this as i have shown it here so this would have been like this and this was our supply function it would have intersected this at this point and at this point okay so i i'm not uh, able to show it clearly here okay i have shown it earlier so intersection occurs at two points when we solve demand and supply functions for q we got two values for q q is equal to minus x quantity cannot be negative so we just discard this point which is minus six here okay corresponding to the quantity x we got here minus six and we got q is equal to four which is our uh, uh, choice variable here obviously because quantity should be positive so when we got equilibrium quantity as 4 just plug the value of 4 in either demand or supply function we got the equilibrium price is 11 then consumer surplus is simply the difference uh, the difference between the price consumer pays uh, for a good and the price he or she is willing to pay for it and graphically it is simply the area which lies below the demand curve and above the equilibrium price that means this green triangle and how do we calculate the area of this whole trapezium a looking shape okay so it is simply the area of this very a figure is simply we integrate it from zero to equilibrium quantity and take the integral of this demand function and to this we subtract the total expenditure of the consumer okay so zero to four 27 minus q square dq this is our definite integral and this whole setup to this we subtract this very area this is which is 11 into 4 11 into 4 and this gives us 42.67 as consumer surplus similarly producer surplus has nothing it is the difference between the mar between the pr market price and the price a producer is willing to accept uh, to produce a good and graphically it is simply the difference between total cost uh, total revenue and total cost this whole setup denotes the total revenue for the producer and this very uh, trapezium denotes the total cost for the producer okay so this is total revenue p into q minus the area of this very trapezium can be calculated taking integral from zero to q of this supply function and taking integral of this supply function that is uh, 2q plus 3 when we solved we got producer surplus here 16 i hope i make myself clear in this video so if you like these videos please share with your friends that is only motivation for me to keep going on i am just making these very stuff uh, uh, these very videos for you people for free i don't believe that i should commercialize uh, those videos but you know uh, youtube can place uh, the ads on this channel without my permission so this is also the right of the youtube because um, youtube actually gives the hundreds of uh, you know the terabytes of space for my videos okay so this is it uh, i should reiterate here uh, again that i am just a student of in economics in that capacity there may and always uh, I happen uh, mistakes in my videos occasionally so if we can uh, uh, find out those uh, what we call